What's up guys, it's Peter Biasi from the Buffalo Blitz and I just wanted to come on here and talk about the Tavon Austin signing to the Buffalo Bills. But before we do that, Built in Buffalo guys, make sure you guys follow us on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter, all Built in Buffalo content throughout the week is awesome leading up to the training camp, preseason and the regular season to get you ready for Buffalo Bills football. But like I'm always, I'm Peter DiBiase from the Buffalo Blitz every Wednesday at 8 p.m. on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I'll be back again on 8 p.m. on this Wednesday. So you guys, check us out as always. I wanted to come here and talk about the Tavon Austin side. And I'm doing this while on vacation. I know I, got, I don't got my normal setup, but I'm on vacation. So I'm putting out content when I'm on vacation because the grind doesn't stop when it comes to built in Buffalo. But the Tavon Austin signing that happened a couple days ago is very fascinating if you're a Bills fan. One, it gives the Bills another dynamic weapon on offense. He is not the same guy that the Rams took eight overall a uh, handful of years back, but he is still a dynamic guy on offense that, when healthy, can give you production. I don't see that happening in Buffalo. Look, I don't see him cracking the rotation of offense. I think you have Shakir, you have Diggs, you have Davis, you have McKenzie, um, guys, and Crowder, excuse me, the guys that will be the five main receivers, and then you obviously have Knox and Howard, and then you have a couple receiving backs on the tight ends. So I don't see him cracking the roster in the sense of offensive weapons for Josh Allen. Where I see he could potentially make the roster or be a significant role on this team is the punt returning and kick returning game. Last year we saw craziness there. We had to put Micah Hyde back there just to return punts because he wasn't dynamic enough, but he was safety enough and he was enough to give the ball back to Josh Allen. McKenzie has shown flashes to be which a punt returner, kick returner, but his ability not to hold on to the ball and key elements there kind of scares me. So I don't want to go down that route potentially. Marcus Stevenson could be another kick returner option, but he was has shown like the corner Matt Perino, Ryan Talbot, if you listen to the Shot Buffalo podcast, he has some drop issues right now. I know that's in the receiving aspect, but his hands aren't great, all that fun stuff right now. I think if you're Tavon Austin, you have a perfect, perfect prime, I would say opportunity to become the legit punt returner and kick returner on the team. And I think if the Bills could find a punt returner and kick returner that's reliable, that gives explosive plays, that also gives the ball to Josh Allen, but also puts the offense in better field position than they originally started, could be a huge, huge, huge plus to this team. I also don't think if the Bills were where Brandon Bean was okay with bringing, with, with the uh, special teams right now. And when I mean special teams, I mean the punt returning, kick returning unit, he would bring in Tavon Austin. Because like I said, I don't see Tavon Austin playing a significant role in the offensive snaps on this team. Because I think there's too many players that play his game, mainly Isaiah McKenzie, and there's no need to unseat Isaiah McKenzie. When Isaiah McKenzie's going on offense, when he's in space on man-to-man -man coverage, he is dynamic. So there's no need to mess that up. And obviously, Rock Crowder to be the slot, and you guys know Diggs and Davis, and then obviously Sha Shakir, the fifth round pick out of Boise State. But Austin is coming here for one thing, and one thing only to be a punt returner, to be a kick returner, and to push some of those guys on that unit. I think this could be bad news for Marquez Stevenson, because I think one of the reasons Marquez Stevenson would have made the roster would be his not power return, his kick returning ability. Isaiah McKenzie's roster spot is safe because he plays a specific role on the offense that the Bills need and that the Bills need from time to time, like we saw in that second game of the year, or second game we played against the Patriots uh, in New England at the end of the year. We saw him obviously carve up that defense and have a tremendous day. I think this is kind of scary for Marquez Stevenson. If you're Marquez Stevenson, you are going to have to show something, maybe in the receiving game to give you a spot on the roster or kick returning. Because I thought the main way Marquez Stevenson would make the roster is maybe show flashes in the receiving court. But if he became a consistent enough kick returner, he would be on this roster. Because then you can kind of hit or miss with uh, punt returning with McKenzie and Hyde. And then Stevenson as a kick returner. I don't know if that's great news for Marquez Stevenson. He's gonna have to have a great training camp. David Austin's coming in here, not really knowing the offense, but I think he's coming in here for punt returning and kick returning. So those are my thoughts on the Tavon Austin signing. I think he's coming in immediate competition for the punt returning and kick returning. I don't see him playing any significant role on the offensive snaps with Josh Allen. But guys, let everybody know down in the comment section what you guys think. As always, I'm Peter DiBiase from the Buffalo Blitz. Every Wednesday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on the, the built-in Buffalo YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter network. You can follow me on Twitter at DiBiase Peter, and I will follow you back. As always, Peter DiBiase, Buffalo Blitz, the Tavon Austin signing just happened. It's fascinating. 
Always check out builtinbuffalonews.com for great articles daily. But Tavon Austin, to end it, he is bringing in the bike competition for the punt returning and kick returning. I will see everyone every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Built in Buffalo, as always. Everyone enjoy the rest of the week. I will see everyone Wednesday.